Alright, now that we've built some stuff, I'm in, I, I, I'm rushing to get the recordings up in time, but you know what, I'm here, I'm here. Why is it in German? Okay. Let me turn on the bomb for me personally. Um, so, reviews and stuff, live react again. We're here for part two, and I got Gogeta. So, this is a unit I literally bust for again. Uh, I'm not gonna, so I'm just here to enjoy the react. Everyone's and see this new unit. Maybe I drop in like a multi or two on the banner, but I'm mainly different parts do right now. And then someone on either this or you. You get the point. I'm probably gonna skip this banner, but you know what? We're still chilling. And I've heard that this is a 40 minute reveal, so hopefully, um, hopefully this is good. Hopefully this is good. Um, alright, let's just. Let's see what they have to say, I guess. Shit. Man, I was late to set up this recording. I was, um... <laughs> I was rushing to get it set up. Hope Thankfully, I got it set up in time, but damn. I was rushing to make sure my recording was all good and ready to go. Okay, another 500 free Chrono Crystals. I'm spinning it up right now, because I'm probably behind. But, yay, 500 CC. Alright, let me see here. Okay, I cut up now. Check cool. This out. Kid Boo? Oh, Majin Boo. Oh, Evil Boo, okay. They keep bringing it within the celebration, that's interesting. They keep it. Oh, is it gonna be an LF Ultimate Gohan? Okay. I feel like it's definitely worthy for a part 2, and I definitely feel like I can skip that. But given this is a 40 minute reveal, I'm scared. For what else is gonna drop? So, LF, oh uh, no, uh, Evil Boo, and who, Ultimate Gohan. Ultimate Gohan, and. Yep, Ultimate Gohan, nice. Alright. Um. On one hand, cool. But the other hand, he's just gonna be ran with. Or, he's gonna be ran with fucking Cryhaunt. Yeah, that fucker. He's gonna be ran with him all the time. Oh no. I mean, yes, but this is fucking revival Gohan all over again. God damn it. This is revival Gohan all over again. They better make this a fucking Bardock scenario. They better make this a Super Saiyan Bardock scenario. Make it so that's this fucking Gohan cannot be ran with the Ultimate Gohan. Apply the following effects whenever this character switches out to Cryhan. Seals blue cards, seals green cards, seals blast cards, seals ultimate, seals everything. Fuck that Gohan. This is cool. This is a fucking. Actually, hold on. I need to be looking at the animations because I'm distracted, but. This is a deserved LF. But fucking wrong time, cause fucking Cryhon. God damn, yeah, people are spamming L for a reason. It's cool, I like this, but it's fucking Revival Gohan all over again. It's this fucker all over again from Third Annie. We have very good part one that kind of changes the meta up a little bit, but then we just go ahead and drop a unit that is deserved, but nobody asks for, and bumps a unit that everybody hates. Okay, let me see here. So Evil Boo has a blast couple change. Okay, cool. Blue card. Green card. Okay, that green card's sick. Alright. Ultimate. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Majin Buu, pure evil, is a defense. Green region? Ooh. And he's defensive? Double defenses and then strike attack. Alright. Green region could be interesting. Oh wow, this boo's gonna be really hard to deal with. 
by an enemy's strike, blast, or special move arts, the cost of all arts for all enemies will be increased. And one time only, Boo will also reduce the enemy's key. This Boo is going to be a hot. He's so far. Give him the good defenses, and this Boo is already looking really good. Um, Alright, I like this boot so far. This boot looks good. He do looks like he's doing what he needs to do, being disruptive and tanky, and I'm not seeing any damage. Wait, hold on. Ooh! Get this. Their rising rush will be sealed for 15 timer counts. So, if you can land that ultimate arc, I like this boo. I really like this boo. Rising rush for 15 whole timer counts. Next, though, as long as he's not gimped by stats, I mean stats, when you have three he's gonna be ha he's gonna have a solid spot on region. First, you'll inflict enemies with Especially given the fact that you can run him, Zankai Zamasu and Baby. Mm, I'm actually look at region right now. Next, um, let me see here. Boom, boom. Um, let me see. Regen. So I'm thinking it's gonna be this boo, baby. Ooh, hold on. Oh, health damage. Reduce cost. No fire endurance. Okay. Combine this with the substitution yeah, I'm, I'm fucking with this boo. Um, the battlefield, and you'll be able to so right now, Legion is currently looking like baby. Um, this is a Masu. And then this, um, evil boo. The thing is that... Hmm. Oh, Ultimate Gohan. But that's the current region setup, but it's, it's that there's no endurance character other than Orange Piccolo that you want to switch into. Range blue card! Okay, that's off to a really good start. And then ultimate. I think you got a strike cover change from this, right? I, I strike cover change. Easy ult. Um, you can't win against me. No matter and all honestly, we could tell most of the budget went into Vegito and Gogeta with this one. Purple, okay, you know what? Fine, I'm happy with him being purple, because fuck Cryon. If I do the 300 multi, get him, because he's a purple, absolutely, I'm happy with that. Sun Family, Usaga, Hybrid, Strike, and Blast Defense. Which can make for a pretty appealing and strike attack. Ultimate Gohan is an all it is purple range, okay. And the enemy's rising rush will be sealed. Their key will be reduced. I really like this so far. Okay, and this Gohan looks very, very solid. Support and damage for free to your allies, and along with whatever the hell he's doing. And he feels rising rush. With some serious firepower. Anyway, I'm like, I'm liking this. If it is a Kabuki unique gauge, that's gonna be a okay. John's a blue. Okay, he has a super good Jita unique gauge. He blue card and damage cut. Okay. Gohan will allow you to defend against them. Not only that, that's okay, that's cool. And he has endurance, alright. So that means Gohan will be able to survive attacks that would normally pierce endurance. Next, alright, so you can eat the Vegeta Rush, that's cool. Green card, draw card, health key, special cover changes. What's more, if the unique right. is attack type. Gohan will get a 40% boost to damage inflicted. Okay, that's a very good green card. Okay. It really has everything that, the need, that a green card needs to be good. Health, key, covenant, damage, vanishing gauge, everything that's good. Ooh. Now, let's look at Ultimate Gohan's main ability and Ultimate Arts. The main ability will draw an ultimate arts card and even reduce the enemy's vanishing gauge to zero. Oh wow. So you can do the drop combo. Arts, your vanishing gauge will be restored by a hundred percent. And if your unique gauge is attack type, unfavorable element factors will be nullified. 
Ooh. So, when you have the attack type gauge, you'll be able to use the main ability to first reduce Okay, this guy is, looks like he's made to fucking counter go on. Alright, I'm I'm happy with that, but it still doesn't stop the fact that he's gonna be just be ran with Gohan. So ultimate Gohan. How was it? The balanced offensive and defensive abilities are easy to use, so try them out. We need to look at the full kit. Now and we need to see stats. Introducing the new characters, it's time to talk about events. Yep. We've got plenty of new info for you all. Fake out? So sure yeah, this is definitely gonna be a fake out. This is 40, supposed to be 40 minutes, and it's only been 20, or 16 if you want to be exact. Now, we have some Zenkai Awakening info for you, but Ooh. we've already seen consecutive Zenkai Awakening for the Legend Limited characters Super Saiyan Broly, Full Power, and Half Corrupted Fusion Zamas during this 6th an anniversary campaign. Right, they've been awesome Zenkais. They definitely killed it with them. To go along with the new characters, this Zenkai Awakening will be for a Majin Buu Saga character. Here it is. Kid Buu. Yeah, it has to be Kid Buu. It has to be Kid Buu, right? Yeah, fucking finally! Holy shit! There you go. Finally, that's a W. This kid Buu could be extremely fucking good. Let me pull him up real quick. Thank God Mario on region. Uh, Blue kid Buu. He's extremely fun to use even still today. He just sucks. Uh, this could be upgraded here. That's right. Legend Limited Buu kid is getting. This is Zenkai this is very strong. The Zenkai ability will target characters that are both Element Blue and tag powerful opponents. Why wasn't it Blue Region, dude? What the fuck? That's an L. That's an L. It should have been Blue Region, honestly. I mean, Blue Power for opponent is still good, but Blue it should have been Blue Region. Damn. Um. This is very strong. Still today, it can steam more, especially with this green card. I imagine they won't give him a lot of defenses, they'll just make it more annoying to catch in a combo, and that's basically what they'll do. So like, this be probably the same, maybe make it 5 times to make the 70%, probably this is what they do, yeah, make the 70%, give him base card draw speed, um, force card draw is, so like, he uses a blast and he gets another blast card, probably. Marvelous Legends Monday. Um, every Monday, based in JST, will have various exclusive events. Probably make this up to 50%, 40, 40%, 50% at max. And then the other two Z abilities, and I have no clue. Like, what, what, what could they do for Z ability here? Covenal? Mm, yeah, probably Covenal. Somewhere in the kit. Because he doesn't have any here. This is still a good main ability, so that's fine. 40% is still the biggest amount to this day. 40% is fucking insane. Maybe make this 50 key if they're generous. Um... I would say the last Z ability... Probably be like I would I would be fucking happy if they made a last Z ability support for region or Majin Buu saga. That'd be cool. So buff here, buff here. Actually, no, we be buff here. Probably. Wait, what? What's this? I forgot. Uh, whatever. You get my point. You get my point. Wait, is this a story? Oh, God Goku! Okay, there we go. God Goku. LF God Goku. He's here, boys. You've asked for him. He's here. That art looks clean. That all looks clean. Alright, alright. Animation looks good so far. I 
Ah, they didn't do the thing. They didn't do the thing. It looks good, but they didn't do the fucking I won't destroy my world. That was what people wanted, but you know what? That's fine. This is still fine. Let me see. Let me finish this up real quick. Um, basically, Covenal buffed this a little bit with more key. More damage, card draw speed. Covenal and a new main ability. And then support and another main ability. And then buff this to 70%. Loud and clear, and we decided to release it for the sixth anniversary. And then this is fine. This is Beerus, alright. Track of a change. Into range blue card, alright. AoE green card. Okay, that's gonna be annoying sometimes. Alright. Looks basic, but looks fine. Blue. God key. Half opponent. Strike and blast defense. And then more strike and defense. Okay, that's interesting. Let me see. God key. Whoa. No matter the situation, this character will be able to put out some tremendous firepower. Beerus's special arts is also powerful. Okay. It's a wide range special arts, and on hit, you'll get an additional buff to damage inflicted. Your draw speed will increase by one level, and your opponent's special cover changes will be nullified. Your draw speed also increases by one level at the start of battle. This looks so, good so far. I'm not gonna be so far. Alright. If he has type neutral somewhere, then this would be cool. Otherwise, then more Ultra Gohan fodder, but otherwise his base kit looks fine. He gets double card draw speed, he gets shit ton of damage, he has a ranged blue card, he has an AoE green that gets him card draw and cover null. We think this will let you experience fire He's range type. Opponent's cards will be destroyed. Oh. He will be reduced, and all enemies will be inflicted with no switching. Oh wow, that's annoying as shit. Will be quite a factor as a high powered attack. But blue huge movies. I would say that could be used. Parts, the best blue you, what you can use your number right now. Too. Beast Gohan. You'll all give it a try. I think that's that's a good yeah, color. Could be as I get. I mean this bully as well. Check out this gameplay trailer. Okay, Garku, let me see. Also a strike of a change. Range blue card. Good green card. Ultimate. Is that it? Wow, they're really not showing off any of the animations for these guys. That means a crunch for time. Holy shit, if they're not doing any show offs. Super Saiyan green Goku is a melee type and element green. The Z ability three buffs ally tag God Melee Sun Family and Sun Family God Key movie strike attack and defense and fifty percent to God Key defense. Okay, going back to Beerus real quick, blue is also a good color for God Key. Moving on to let me see there's literally a God Goku right here. I'm just taking you. Wait, shit, I did not mean to close that movie tab. Fuck. I think green should be a good color. The only thing is... Wait, hold on. Okay, that's good. Easy cover null. More cover null. Oh, this is an AoE green card. Oh, he goes type neutral. Even if you're All at right. element disadvantage. Let's continue with Goku's defensive. Endurance. First, Goku when he enters the battlefield, and he goes to type neutral defensively. Goku will nullify unfavorable element factors for damage received. And then... You'll no. be able to take attacks from any enemy, even those you'd normally be weak against. And he nullifies enemy AoE green cards despite having one, okay. It's a time type unique gauge, and it will All charge right. while Goku is on the battlefield. You can't have his own attribute, you can't have his own. The unique gauge is charged to the max, 
The strike bats are hit while this kept his unique gauge is full. Same as unique gauge, no fights in favor of animal factors. Is it to enter the battlefield? Whoa! 300% unique gauge charge rate? The gauge to max will not only cancel Goku's attribute downgrades, but it will even nullify them for a number of counts. But that unique gauge is basically useless, so. We may even strike a blast called unique gauge is full. Oh, now I see why you want to charge a unique gauge. Okay. So his green card restores vanishing gauge. And he gets more gauge whenever he uses a strike a blast. Green card key, I mean, the only person you're going to want to use, honestly, is either these guys, which have now started to age a little bit. But what did you and um, these is very easy revival go, which is probably more vibrant than him because of his revive. For yourselves. And then the green movie. Today, Sparking Majin Buu, Pure Evil, and Legend Limited. I mean, it is bully. He's still really good. Sparking God of Destruction Beerus. This orange pickler green movies. We probably have a lot of room to contest. Depending on what you want to do, but Green God Key is definitely a good color. And then some family, obviously, you have Ultra Gohan. Not even gonna argue that shit. Yeah, there's still nine minutes left. Hold on. New equip for the new characters. Okay. We're adding a new equipment this time as well. This new movies or God Key. Okay. New platinum equipment. Wait. So. You won't have to worry about carefully upgrading platinum equipments or getting a good version because they'll all have Wait, what? They make okay? Yes, okay, I'm liking this so far. I'm liking this. To get platinum equipment. So this is basically you make, replacing you unique equipment. Fucking that, that is a fucking W. This is a fucking W. This is going to replace unique equipment, equipment for characters. Holy priority. shit. Finally. Ever platinum equipment is Yes. It's a yes! equipment that can be used by the event exclusive. Yeah, ultra okay, I Omega fuck with Shenron. that. I fuck with that. On an ultra Omega Shenron and feel the power. Next up. Yes! Ultra fucking unique equipment are coming now. Holy Legend shit. Battle Royale, God Key, Hybrid Saiyan is coming. This is a great time for a battle royale. And now I'm, now my erection is gone. Do you have Ultra Gohan? Yes. No. Then you lose. <laughs> oh God. But that platinum equipment segment is probably the best thing they could have announced. That's like the best thing they could have announced. Guaranteed slot. You don't have to reward anymore. And they're giving it to old ultra characters that desperately need it. Fucking W. Okay. Toshi smiling. I'm I'm excited. Another Zenkai, probably. Wait, what? You have Get blo- Charlotte! 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 You better fuck this better be sh- oh, Okay, you know what? Fine. We're slowly working up to it. We're walking up to it. Part 3. That's fine. We're slowly building up to the shallots. We're slowly getting there. I'm fine with that. Biggest feature is that for a set number of timer counts, this character can switch to the dark element. Whoa! This element has only been used for enemy characters in the That's story. extremely enemy powerful. Have generally not had access to it. But it's finally here on a playable That's character. immediately good. That means they have to introduce good light characters, so, depending on how good this Giblet is. Or they hold back. Either they're gonna hold back on Giblet, or they're gonna fucking, what's it called, include more light characters. Made, like, fucking Super Saiyan... The, the fucking Dark Key Control Giblet they're gonna add, probably at one point. And then Charlotte Fusion. Okay, this is the end now. Wait. Why is it three minutes left? There's supposed to be 40 minutes, but there's three minutes left? Is there gonna be another fake out? Not another fake. It didn't even fake out in the first place, actually, more I think about it. Hold on. Yeah, they didn't even fake out. 
We hope you will all continue to enjoy the sixth anniversary. Okay, now it's two Please minutes. Take a look at our official social media accounts for info that we couldn't share here. It's gonna be a Zenkai fake out. Two minutes, that's only time for a Zenkai fake out. If you haven't yet. That's the end of our show. Thank you once again for watching. Part Zenkai fake out. And we hope you all have a blast. Goodbye. Bye everyone. Never mind, no fake out. Alright, whatever, that's cool. People are spamming L. But honestly, for me personally, I think this is a perfectly fine part two. Fucking, they fix rolling for equipment for specific characters, so VB unique equipment, fucking those Zenkai unique equipment, like for Super Saiyan for Goku and shit like that. All those are now fixed. Yes, unique equipment system, the, the equipment system still sucks, but this is a fucking major fix, because rolling for those wood slots are a fucking pain. Like Orange Peckle, for example, is another good one. Blue, New Namek Goku, The Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 2, Boo Duo. Those any equipments are going to be so much easier to roll. Now that they fucking add those. Guaranteed fucking rolls. Those are going to be so much better. And they're doing fucking Ultra Uni equipments. So now that fucking Ultra Namek Vegeta is, is, could be good again. Fucking Ultra Super Saiyan Gogeta. Ultra, Namek Goku. All those old OG Ultras could get a bunch of love now. Because honestly, again, I think they could still be... I don't think they're Zenkai yet. I don't think Ultras are ready for Zenkai yet. So I think unique equipment for them is the absolute best direction you can go. Uh, but, but, but let me see. I don't want this ad. Whatever. Up. News. So I'm still waiting for them. Okay, they still need to publish info. Um, alright. You got, got LF God Goku. You got fucking a new Beerus, which looks decent. You got a new Evil Boo, looks, which honestly looks really good. You got a Ultimate Gohan, which looks... Well, I need to see the full kit. But it looks at least good. It looks like they're made to fucking snipe or fucking Ultra Gohan, which is fine. But then he's just gonna be ran with him. So far, I think all the Ultimate Gohan, personally speaking, from, from what I like and use, is probably the best one so far, the, be the better of the two ups so far, because of that fucking support, and he's sniping the fucking rat. His blue card, long, his long range blue card is a fucking nullifies endurance, so that's why I'm excited about him, and he's supporting the team, and he has an attack type unique gauge that helps drop blue cards. I, I like I like that kit personally compared to God Goku who is good, but you have you, you, a melee unit is still gonna get fucked by unique gauges a little bit. But, you, but if you get in a scenario where you don't have to deal with a unique gauge, he can combo. He can definitely fucking combo and mess you up. But I will say though, I'm a bit disappointed in animation so far. The best one, one of the best animations honestly, is the fucking Kid Buu. I might be real with you, Kid Boo. No, Kid Boo. Um, Evil Boo. Fuck, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, the animations. Evil Boo has the best animations in, in the fucking thing. I'm honestly not too impressed by these fucking LF's animations. God Goku, Ultimate Gohan, fucking uh, Beerus. I'm not too impressed with them. But honestly, and also, even though these are wanted units, this is not a good time for them. Go, even though Ultimate Gohan is made to snipe Ultra Gohan, the fucking rat, he's just gonna fucking be ran with him. Same thing for this God Goku. It's not the right buffs. I mean, even then, this God Goku is green. So he's only be ran on fucking God Key. And then occasionally movies, because it's a lot of good movies right now. But mainly God Key, which is, sure, you got him, you got fucking him. He's still runnable, he's still runnable, he's still good. Gaki's in a good spot, could use a green. But like... Unless you specifically run Gaki, I don't see a reason to summon on this Gaku banner. Or you just like the unit. Or you just really like God Goku. But again... 
Uh, actually, he probably won't be running some family, honestly. I mean, what? You're gonna run fucking mono fucking green or some shit? Uh, some family. Let me see here. I mean, he gets type neutral. So defensively. So what? You're gonna run him? Actually, hold on. Mono green might cut. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Mono green might actually be good. Cause you got him. You got him. Then you can either run him or the new God Goku. And fucking boom, here's a Zenkai right here. Zenkai buff. Let me load up. Hold on. Characters. Zenkai. Green. Who would buff? Green. Some, some family character. Let me see here. Uh, you. Um, your future from right. Honestly. Yeah, future. I was right. Your hybrids. You can honestly get away with mono green. I'm not even joking. You can get away with mono green. You got him, and you got him. The new god Goku. You get revival UI Goku. And then. Here's a Zenkai buff for them. And we can go on. You can put the god Goku in the leader slot. And then just make it a high. Mm, no. That won't work. Put. Ultra Gohan in the slot. Boom. And then Saiyan Zenkai Bitch. So, boom. And then. Boom. For God King. Yeah, that's fucked. That's fucked if you do that. Ultra Gohan in the slot. Tag. Blue Kaioken. You got Tag. An attack. You got the new God Goku. Him for Zenkai Bench. Him for Zenkai Bench because it does God Key. And then him for the same Bench. Oh, that's fucked up. That's a fucked up team. Okay, finally the fucking kits are out. Holy shit, I had to wait a minute for that. Almost a damn half an hour scoring on fucking Instagram. Alright. God Goku. 38% to strike and to blast. No, 38% to strike and strike attack and defense, and 80% to blast defense to Gaki. Alright. Strike armor. Reduce special move cost by 15. No, 3 for 15 time accounts. Alright. And then reduce special move odds cost by 3 for 15 time. Alright, good. Special move damage. Temp neutral. Impact damage. And it's upon activation, so that's fine. AoE green, health, key, damage. Draws a card, vanish engage. Cover null. Looks good. Um. Ult. Ultimate damage, no endurance, damage cut, unique gauge on hit. Alright, looks fine. Draws. Draw. Okay, force draws an ultimate. And a blue card. That's interesting. I would imagine a green card would probably be more useful, but blue card, that's interesting. Damage, key recovery, damage reduction, card draw. More damage, reduce odds cost, knee gauge charge rate. That's okay. That's good for changing cover. Okay, I like that. Impact and spell damage. Type neutral. Seals enemy green cards with T-time accounts. Alright, that's fine. Every time we know that already, you know this already. Wait, hold on. So been said to strike and blast it. He stacks damage. 
Actually, no, it was only once. Okay. Once per switch in. Okay, that's fine then. Turn sub count by five when the sketch is on standby. So it's only health by thirty percent when its own health reaches zero. All right, looks good so far. Strike cover change the blue card combo. You get you lose odds power when facing an enemy for a few time accounts. Looks fine. Unique gauge on the sketch is on the battlefield. Well, unique gauge is four. You get health. No cancels downgrades, no more, okay. Turns up some camp by one, that looks fine. This is a good, uh, unique gauge. Wait, how much is Ultra Gogeta's? Ultra Super Gogeta, let me be specific. How good, how powerful is Ultra Super Gogeta's fucking unique gauge when it comes to that? Because that's basically the same thing, hold on. Ultra, um, Ultra Super Gogeta. He gets 15% health. This guy, I'm assuming, has the same unique gauge. There's a unique gauge you use Oz card. No, this is time based, so that's fine. Is it time based? Or... Yeah, it's time based. So, who has a time based unique gauge? Hold on. He said Ultra can boo if I'm right. Yeah, it's gonna be similar to Ultra Kid Boo. Alright. So, he gets health, cancel stuff, support, uh, um, and then it empties and lands a card. And then he gets damage, a card, he card draw speed, type neutral, and then he nullifies Q reduction. Alright, I really like this God of Goku. I really like a really good offensive brawler that has some decent u defensive utility. You're probably not going to want to get caught in a combo with him, but given the fact he has endurance, I think he'll be fine for the most part with his minute amount of disrupt and defenses. And he can be annoying as shit because you might not be able to catch him in a combo, especially if he gets keep, keep if he keeps getting AoE greens, he'll be very annoying. This God of Goku is very good. I'm personally not going to summon for him. I'm not. He'll be the last character I go after if I manage to pull every other character first. Let's put it like that. Um, now Gohan, which I think is actually very good. Um, 38% to strike and blast defense, 18% to strike attack, blast armor, store skill upon activation. Um, we know about this already. Nullifies and jumps on an 8 long range blue card is fucking insane. Um, we have to wait for it though. Green card, draws a card, health, key, key recovery. Wait, 100% to key recovery activates once, cannot be cancelled. So you want to pop the green card as soon as you can to get this active. You get cover null. In case of that, okay, that's cool. If it's a time type, you get unique edge faster. Oh, yeah, you really want to get the green card out, all right? And if it's attack type, you get damage and then you get unique, full vanish path. That's this is very, very top tier so far, just from what we know already. Um, oh, what we know about this? Wait, you get unique, you get a vanishing gauge back? Okay, that's fine. Ultimate damage, endurance, type neutral, cancels. Shit. Okay, this this is this Gohan is looking like top five material so far. Honestly, I think this Gohan has a spot in the top five. A main ability, you get your ultimate key, health, cancels, Dragon Fist effect. So that's already gonna be very good, especially considering the fact this is gonna be type neutral. Hundred percent, hundred ten percent, damage reduction, card draw, odds cost, face an enemy. You get a new card, you get key. What the fuck is that? Okay. It's once only? So this is basically the first card you need to use in battle. Uh, okay, that makes sense. 
The first very 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 first card. Wait. Oh now I see. So this is basically when you enter the battlefield, this gets multiplied. This Gohan has 220% damage inflicted. Right off, this, right off the bat, 220 with base card draw and all the shit you already at. Okay, yeah, this Gohan top 5. This Gohan is easily top 5. It's not even fucking close. Alright, um. Let's get to the end of the battlefield. He destroys the card, his key. If it's time type, in full, we set to 0 and following the effect occur. So you attack 6% damage. So this Gohan, once this unique gauge goes off for the first time, is sitting at 280. 280% damage inflicted. 110, 110, that's 220, plus 60, that's 280% damage inflicted. That's fucking mental. And the fact he's importing. Which we get to in a second, but holy shit. You get the card destruction, you just you basically stop a combo, and you can't be rushed. 100% to own unique gauge charge rate, five time accounts, when an ally is hit with enemies, tap action or auto attack. Cannot be stacked. And then endurance. It's funny how both of these characters actually have endurance though. That's actually kinda of funny. Um when an ally. So this includes itself, so if you get tapped. Unique gauge is gonna, for example, if you get like long range tap carded with a blast arts card, you can, you're just gonna eat that shit on purpose just so you can get your time unique gauge faster. That's kind of crazy. Or at the end of combo, you can just switch out. Actually, it's not even that. It's when you get hit. So if you get hit with a fucking card, because this is, uh, let me see. Gradually. Okay, time based unique gauge. Who has a time based unique gauge that goes gradual? Is it Golden Freezer? No. Gradually. I think it's Pycon and Gogeta, honestly. That's the most similar. Probably. Slowly. No, not Pycon and Gogeta. Um, who has. Is it. Hit, maybe? Because gradually it's slower than normal charge. Obviously. Okay. It's gonna be hit. Got it. It's gonna be the hit unique gauge. There you go. This guy has a hit unique gauge initially. So if you get hit at all, you can just switch out. And then. Uh, it's actually on the battlefield. Okay, never mind. Scratch what I'm saying. But point being. Hit unique gauge. So. Yeah, alright. You really want to make sure you get hit with those top attacks if you can to get this faster. I think hit unique gauge is like 50, 60 time accounts if I'm right. Because I think it's around 30 time accounts when you initially start off because he gets some initially. So if it's completely empty, it's going to be like 50, 60 time accounts or so. And then when you get just full for the time one, you go type neutral, you get health, you get support, you show up count, and when it's attack type, then you, it's the Gogeta unique gauge. And you get a blue card, you get full key, and ignore damage cut permanently. Yeah, honestly, this Gohan is top five. I think Gohan is like miles above Garku. Garku is good. But he's a one-dimensional character that's mainly made for offense. What makes this Gohan good is that this Gohan has everything. <laughs> like I, we're back at it again. Gohan Ball Legends. They even share the fucking same type. Oh my god! What the fuck is it? Them releasing a broken part two, purple Gohan. Holy shit. Um, what makes this Gohan miles above Goku in my opinion is that. One, his teams are really good. Purple Sun Family is really good right now. Purple Hybrid is really good. Um, purple Boo Saga, you're not gonna run, but if you wanna be that guy, then sure. Boo Saga is not a bad team right now. Good Z ability. Good color. Because Purple Zenkai is a really good Z ability. Hold on. Uh, b -b 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 character type. 
Purple Zenkai. Uh, you got Goten. You got this Gohan. And actually, that's it. Because not movies, not anything else here. Yeah, okay. This Goten and this Gohan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, that's fine. He has good access to really easy and powerful Zenkai buffers, honestly. He's easily gonna get double Zenkai buffed, at least single Zenkai buffed on any team you run him on. Except Margin Boost Saga. But point being, he has good Zenkai buffers, good color, good tags, good spot in the meta right now for him. You can just run him on Sun Family, and you'll be fine. Um, very good blue card, very, very powerful green card. Very, very powerful ultimate that can help cleave through any yellow. So mainly Ultra Gogeta, not Ultra. Uh, fucking Fusing Gogeta and Baby. Those are the yellows you're concerned about. And with a Type Neutral Ultimate, you don't really have to worry about it for the most part. He has very good damage. He can get double card draw speed. He supports a team. He can steal a rush. He can snipe Cryon. And he has very good offensive power. The only thing is that he might be missing defensive utility, but given the fact that what he's doing, which is he can restore health with his green card, he can get his vanishing back with his green card, he can go tap neutral on ult, he gets a shit ton of support here. He he can stop a combo with his unique edge as well for free. He can stop a combo. Just fucking period. Two cards, 60 key, seals rush. Yeah. This Gohan top 5 in my opinion. This Gohan is definitely in debate for top 5, just simply because of everything, plus his teams are in a good spot. So, yeah. Well, that took longer to record than I expected because they took about half an hour to fucking drop the info. God damn. Um, but anyways, that's that. I'm not gonna make a summoning video because I'm only gonna drop, like, the first rotation. On a Gohan banner, and that's it. Um, and if I get him, you see a PvP video. If I don't, you won't see anything. So, until then, it's probably gonna be to part three for me. You see me again in Legends. So, if that's what you saw, you know, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good shit. Um, and until next time, I'm gonna just continue to wreck people in PvP. Honestly, I'm gonna just fucking fuck people up in PvP.